Okay, guess what we're gonna do today? Guess. I'm so excited. Uh, we're going to buy lunch for everybody in the store. That's afterwards. All right, check this out. Did Adrian promise lunch? What's that? Adrian promised lunch on video. Oh, he did. <laughs> oh, what's this, this? Another black box. Another black box. Okay. Stop showing off your watch, Philip. <laughs> Where's my knife? Oh, it's from Wilson. Yes. We have two adults looking into their toys. I love it when we get new toys. Oh, look, Jay, it's the Sabrina X. The Sabrina X, you say? Yes. Uh, this video cannot be uploaded <laughs> until later. September 1st. So today is August the 21st. 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 So everybody, just so you know, we're going to unbox this. We're going to start breaking them in and then officially September 1st, we will release the video. But in the meantime, I'll talk a little bit about what these speakers are. So they are the successor to the extremely popular Sabrina. All new cabinet material, um, all new drivers. As a matter of fact, the tweeter is a direct, uh, it's the same one as they use in the WAM. So this Wham that's like a million dollars or close to it, it's in the same speaker. Really excited. Million you, dollars Canadian. I think Adrian, close, close to Adrian, a million US. Sorry yes. to interrupt, I don't think you should explain that in here because of that buzzing noise. Okay, all right, all right we'll, we'll talk about it later. Anyway, we're gonna, we're gonna cart these into the other room and as we unpack, we'll talk about it, okay. See, I told you, I told you Sabrina X sounds like a black color. Oh. I had forgotten what finish we had ordered them in. So this is the same tweeter that's found in the Wham Chronosonic. Um, and uh, new drivers, um, I can't remember, I, I've got all the notes in my office, but we'll do a follow-up video later. Yeah, we'll do a follow-up video later. In purple. The cabinet is, um, now entirely uh, Wilson uh, uh, special polymers. So very, very dense. Really, oh, so really it's solid. not just the front plate and the bottom anymore. It's the whole thing is... Everything is, is all new enclosure. The other thing that's also very interesting is that about a year ago, uh, Wilson Audio bought a company called Relcat or Reliable Capacitor. In the industry, a lot of very high-end companies buy specially made capacitors from Relcat. Anyway, the company uh, came up for sale and uh, Wilson Audio bought them and shipped all the production facility to Utah inside the Wilson factory. And uh, this speaker, along with the Chronosonic XVX, uh, has the specially designed capacitors inside the crossover uh, technology. So. Um, very exciting. I, I can't wait to hear what these speakers sound like. I've been told they sound unbelievable. But so, only a thousand hours for break-in on the caps? <laughs> I don't know. So in the back, oh. you've got a slot-loaded port, the big port for the bottom, and all new um, Wilson Audio no, binding uh, posts. That, no styrofoam. that kind of looks like the one from the DAW. It is. It is the identical one from the DAW. So now, um, you can not only use spades, but also use bananas as well. Thank God. Yes, so you have both. Um, that's it. And this is all, by the way, I don't know how well you can capture it, but this is all protective film. So in an earlier video where we did the uh, Sasha DAW setup, some people noticed that the um, film was on, but they thought it was the finish. Well, it was just a film. CJ. This is actually just to protect the um, um, paint until... We get around to, So this uh, is the same thing, the but in the white, right? So yes. this peels off too. Yes. But now it's clearing it. Okay, let's get the other one in, hook them up, and can burn them in. Can we please take off the film? No. Oh, my God. <laughs> Are we? Yes. Put the film on. Yes. Oh, by the way, should we show everybody how we, how we cheat with our setups? Cheat? How we know where to put the speakers? Yeah, turn the lights off. Let's, let's, uh, let's see if we can capture that. Yes. Let's see if we can cap capture this. I don't this. think we can. The, the, the light is too dark in here. It's going to be try grainy. It, try it. See it. Can you see? Yep. 
Okay. If this camera can capture this. Here. See? We use these uh, invisible ink markers after we've determined where we want to put the speaker. So the center the center part of the speaker goes right here? Yes. That's where the woofer goes. So you want to tell them who set this up? Uh -huh. <laughs> well, Philip did the voicing. So Fine. when they don't sound good, <laughs> it's we blame all my it all on. Yeah, that's it. But really, it's your fault, Jay, because I always blame you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, uh, today is August the 27th. We received the Sabrina X about five days ago, and we've been trying to break them in, although we haven't had that much time. Um, we're going to be doing a video of our impressions tomorrow morning. That's Friday. And so you'll be able to see what we think uh, of these new speakers once we upload them. So again, reminder, we're going to upload the unboxing September 1st, which is the first day that the embargo is lifted. So please watch out for that. Also, you will be able to see um, Wilson's uh, Sabrina X assets, pictures, and their own videos in on our website. So if you go to audioexcellence.ca, uh, click on the link where it says Sabrina X, it'll take you into a dedicated Sabrina X webpage, and you can read all about uh, the new speakers. So anyway, um, I wanted to give a little bit more details about these speakers. The tweeter, as I might have mentioned in the earlier video, is actually from the same, is the same tweeter as is used in the top of the line Wham Chronosonic. The other thing that's also interesting is that the woofer is the same identical woofer as the Sasha DAW, which is on the right. As uh, Jay pans over, you can actually see it's identical woofer. The cabinet is made of the same X material, the latest version, as also found on the XVX, which is the second from the top of the line Wilson speaker. In fact, the speakers are designed using the same technology as the XVX. The cabinet is machined to one, uh, what is it, four one thousandths of an inch tolerance, um, using the same laser technology that they use for the XVX. And I wanted to also show you this is the new spike diode system, also used on the XVX. So you can see that it's much, much bigger. The original uh, Sabrina only came with spikes. This has the much larger diode system. Um, the idea is to uh, be able to very quickly drain the vibrations of the cabinet into the ground. Again, because the cabinet is uh, made out of the uh, X material, it is uh, incredibly solid, very, very rigid, very dense. Um, so it allows, it won't allow the cabinet to vibrate uh, very much at all. Internally, they're still using HDX, I believe, for um, some of the um, baffling and the um, structural, um, uh, I guess, strengthening, if you will, of the cabinet inside. Bracing? Uh, bracing, yes, thank you. <laughs> mm -hmm. See what happens when you get old? Just lose all the words that you used to be able to remember. And then finally, the other thing I wanted to point it out is if you go to the back, Jay, uh, you will see that the there's a port here, it's horizontal, it's for the mid-range to vent out. And then within the port, there's actually a piece of, um, I want to say foam, that helps also to reduce air turbulence. Now we've also, again, kept the uh, plastic wrap, we haven't taken it off uh, to protect the paint finish. We'll probably do so uh, uh, at some point. Anyway, uh, that's it for the unboxing. And uh, next time you see us, um, we'll be doing the uh, sonic impressions of the speakers. That's tomorrow. Thanks, take care, bye-bye.